Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Well, let's get into how to make your food go bad faster, shall we? Probably one of the things you pr most likely have never said, but you might not have actually known that it's possible. So let's get into it. If you're sitting there going, where the hell is my rot? I need rot, I need rot, and I need it now. Well, unfortunately, you're pretty much just gonna have to use a few techniques. There are more technical ways of doing this. For example, you can go down and activate the toadstool, which will instantly rot your stuff, which I will showcase um, in another video. But for now, let's talk about the easier way, shall we? I don't want you getting yourself killed just by making yourself want to actually have things rot quicker. And honestly, it doesn't take too, too long. So here we go. Let's just imagine you have yourself a, a set of food. So here we go. I got some light bulbs that I want to turn into rot. And of course, I want rot now. I don't want to wait around. So how do we make it rot quicker? Well, there's a few easy ways to do this. And one of them is the, pretty much the most you know, obvious one. I don't know if you've ever tried it before. But if you haven't, all you have to do is take your said item whatever it might be and notice that it's going to go stale in two or so days and now you can toss it in the water in the full stack and all and now that cuts it completely in half so essentially it's going to go you know through the process of actually happening that where it goes stale first and then eventually turn into rot the trouble though is when you place food inside the water as you can see that little fish was quite hungry so you want to be a little cautious on what you do because essentially placing these things inside the water, of course, becomes fish food. So try to place them around where fish are not nearby and just wait a day or let it sit. But over time, it's eventually going to go bad. So now that it's in there being wet, it's going to turn into wet, uh, um, wet rot. But regardless, rot doesn't matter if it's wet or not. It doesn't have to be dried in order to be used. So yeah, that's essentially how you do it. I probably would promote, you know, uh, the other way of doing this is just let it sit on the ground, but nonetheless, it's still the same as if it's in your inventory. So yeah, just put it inside a little bit of water and you're good to go. And I will showcase the toadstool thing next time just so you can kind of see it and, and go through that as well. But that is the easiest way to let rot do it without getting yourself in any trouble or going into the caves. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.